Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Muppet, and I'm sorry I was in the replays menu. I did that, uh, yeah, just because whenever I hit the bloody F5 key, it automatically goes into the replays menu, and that is a pain in the ass, but it's definitely not where we want to be. Where we want to be is actually at the start screen, because I'm going to be talking a little bit about graphic settings in StarCraft 2. Now, I know when I uh, started casting, that uh, when I started doing video casting and stuff like that, that it slowed down my uh, FPS by quite a severe margin. I was hitting about 30 or 40 beforehand. Running fraps, capturing video, put me down to like, ten, like 20, maybe even 15 in some cases. And it needed to be at 30, because of course 30 is uh, the video replay rate on YouTube. So I had to do some investigation onto uh, how to improve my FPS, but I didn't want it looking dodgy, I didn't want the minimal settings, because you've probably seen StarCraft with the minimal settings, it's just ugly, it's just boring, plain man, and it really, really looks like the game's like 15 years old or something like that, so not fun, so the thing is, you can improve your f FPS by quite a bit, if you know how to do it, and still have everything looking right, surprisingly, s most of the settings which actually improve your your settings, which actually um, make everything look nice, and not the ones that really affect FPS, it's the ones you maybe don't notice too much that you could afford to live without, which really actually do a hit on your FPS. Now, I'm sourcing all of this informa information of a very helpful article in the Team Liquid forum, and I will be posting a link to that in the description, so if you really don't want to sit through me explaining all of this, or you think I'm going to screw it up, go ahead, go to the link right now, and uh, enjoy yourself. But I'm going to run through it now because, yeah, it basically just reset my graphic settings, and I couldn't remember what the hell the uh, the previous ones were, so I thought, if I have to go through it again, I might as well make a video of it. Because, I mean, after you've been casting a while, you start to think about making a video every single time you log in. It doesn't matter what you do. It's like, oh my god, i got to make a video about this. Anyway, so, we're going to start off by setting this to medium. Uh, actually, this is texture quality. So this it doesn't actually affect the overall graphics quality, but yeah, we are gonna set it to medium. Um, we probably could set it a little bit higher without wrecking the FPS a bit, but I'm gonna set it to medium. I'll start off actually talking about my computer. I got a um, quad-core CPU, it's about 2.4 gigahertz. I got four gig of RAM but I'm on a 32-bit machine, so like 700 meg of that just disappears. I don't even see it. And I do have a graphics card. And a graphics card's not bad. It's uh, it's like an NVIDIA GeForce something or other. I can't remember exactly. Actually, hold on. I yeah, I don't know. I don't know where I got the damn case is. I don't know where the case is for it, but it's about a gig and a half of video RAM. And yes, so it's, it's pretty good. I'll, I'll probably link the description now, yeah, maybe. Yeah, probably no, probably doesn't matter. But yeah, it's, it's, not a, it's not an awesome whiz-bang computer. The graphics card is probably about two years old. So yes, we're definitely going to pump things down to medium. But some things you can put up high, and some things you can uh, leave down low and improve your FPS. So we're going to start. Actually, we're going to start low here. Now, shaders. If you have it at low, the game looks like shit. Um, you definitely want to get this up to at least medium, and another thing you want to get up to at least medium is the terrain. And we'll come back to those in a sec, but definitely medium, medium. Now, shaders, so yeah, that's definitely. Post-processing, uh, let's have a look at the guide for a second. I don't think post-processing uh, really, really uh, matters too much. We are going to leave it as low, though. Uh, it does require, um, depend on your graphics card, so we're going to leave it as low just in case. Lighting is definitely actually uh, quite an FPS killer. Uh, lighting affects your FPS quite a lot, and you don't really need a lot of lighting. You don't really notice it as much, and so we're just going to leave it as low here. Physics really doesn't matter. I mean, we can turn that to high. That's just dependent on your CPU, not on your graphics, so it doesn't matter. Shadows actually um, does depend. It does actually affect your FPS quite a bit. We can't set it to low, however, without changing the shaders to low. So if you set this to medium, you can uh, have to set that to medium as well. 
there is a way to turn the shadows off, even with shaders at medium, but it does, um, it, it's, it's in the guide. Basically, you go in, after you set your graphic settings, you go into a, a variables.txt folder in your StarCraft 2 area, and you can manually turn that off. And it's all in the guide that I will link, so you should definitely go check that out. Models, models we can definitely set to high. That doesn't matter, that's not gonna wreck your FPS. Models is, uh, is fine. Uh, terrain, we've set that to medium, so that's fine. Unit portraits, definitely turn that to 2D. 3D actually does uh, suck up quite a bit of FPS, so you definitely wanna leave that low. Reflections are, uh, I don't know, I've, I'll, I'll just leave it off, I really don't give a shit about reflections. And um, yeah, we can turn effects, actually I think we can turn effects up. I could turn it up to high if I really wanted to according to this guide, but I'm just going to leave it as medium because, you know, I'll just play it safe a little bit. And so there we go, we are going to uh, run with these settings. We've got physics and models on high, we've got shaders on medium, and tr terrain on medium, texture quality on medium. And you're probably thinking, well, this is going to look a little bit like crap, but yeah. We're, we're, we're just going to run with it right now, and hopefully this doesn't ask me to restart the game. So there, and I will, I will jump up a very quick replay, and this is actually a replay I just cast before, so there's no, actually no, we'll, uh, we'll get a replay that doesn't require me to uh, actually uh, restart StarCraft, because that's a pain in the ass. This is actually a... A ladder game I did where I did some nice fast void ray stuff. So we're going to have a look at exactly how the graphics look and uh, how good the FPS is in this game. Now with Thraps, it'll probably jump down a little bit, I think, but it, sh it should still be pretty good. I mean, it's, it's the little things, the little things that make the game awesome, but you can live without. And there we go. I mean, look look at how look at how good this is. I mean. You can see that it doesn't look spectacular, but it's good enough. I mean, it's good enough. I can, uh, I could show you how the game looks without these settings, but I'll leave you, I'll leave that for you to try out. If you turn everything on low, and then start it up, it looks freaking awful. I'm, I am not even joking. It looks freaking awful. I mean, all right. Actually, what we will do is, uh, yeah. Why not? Why not? You've, most people have probably stopped watching it at this point. They've got all the information they need. So, yeah, for you guys still uh, still listening, for you guys who are still interested in the graphics, we will set everything to low, and we will check out how it uh, how it looks. So I'll set everything to low there. <coughs> oh no, no, I don't want to. I don't want to restart the game. All right, actually, we'll be back back in a sec. All right, we're back, and it actually uh, automatically logged me back on after it changed the settings, so that's pretty awesome. Got everything on low, everything off, so we're going to maximize our FPS, and actually I forgot it to do it last time, but we will check the FPS this time to see uh, exactly what it gets up to. For those of you who don't know, it's, um, well, I won't actually say it until I've tested it and make sure I'm right, but I believe it's, uh, I believe it's Control-Alt-F. So there we go, you can see the FPS up the top left side. And I can't see it because, uh, actually I'll just F12 that, sorry about that, but that shifts my fraps thing, so now I can see it a bit better. The FPS is actually, uh, yeah, see it's hovering around 30. Unfortunately I'm capturing with fraps, so it uh, automatically shoves it down to 30. I cannot, uh, I cannot change that, so maybe we can't see what the actual FPS is, but you can see the graphics here, man. That looks really freaking awful, man. That is everything on low, and... I mean, you'll get stupidly, uh, stupidly high FPS doing it on this setting, but it looks dodgy. And we definitely saw how awesome it was on medium, and yeah, I'll actually go back and I'll change all of these again. So medium, medium here. Remember, lighting is uh, one of the things we got to duck down. Physics, we, uh, actually, I'll leave it on medium because, you know, I really don't care about that. So basically, lighting, down as low as you can. Unit portraits off. The rest of the stuff, just leave as medium, and you should be fine. And if you wish, if you're still getting a bit of dodgy FPS at this point, go to the guide I'm linking in the description, and read through it, and uh, he or she will tell you how to turn shadows off and leave shading at medium, and you will still get the game looking awesome, but it will be a lot faster. 
and yeah, I might actually think about that because I'm still getting a little bit, uh, a little bit crappy stuff. But I don't know, man. Without shadows, I'm not sure if I would want to cast without shadows. I'll give it a try, maybe. But yeah, we'll have to see. Uh, so let's get out of this. And yeah, there we go. We have a look at this. And actually, it looks like it uh, looks like it already fixed it there. It may have already just. Uh, Oh, that was stupid. I shouldn't have left the game. What am I doing? But, yeah, oh, sorry. I was just pressing that button again. But, yes, we can see there. It definitely looks good enough to play off. And, yes, it's still running quite fast. So, thank you very much for watching this. Um, yeah, most of it's in the guide, in the description link. Um, and the rest of it is in this video. So, thank you very much for watching. And, hopefully, you too can improve your uh, FPS while still having a game that uh, looks pretty good. I, I honestly, at this point, I get about 90 FPS. I don't know how much I get with everything at low, but it's probably not too much more. It's probably about 100, 120 or so. So yeah, you definitely can get a lot of FPS with uh, not much hardware if you, uh, if you manage to click the right settings. So anyway, I'll leave you guys with that. Thank you very much. This has been Harry Muppet. I hope you've enjoyed this game, or this, uh, this cast anyway.